Hey friends, welcome to the exercises video. And this video is going to be pretty short because there's only two examples and I'm not really showing anything. Um, but the first thing we have is my dragon head. Now you might be familiar with this if you have seen my Chimera design. Uh, this is the dragon head that's on that. Um, and when I was designing, I designed all three heads individually. So dragon head crease pattern is here. Um, now this is the flat folding correct version of the dragon head. The one on the Chimera is actually incorrect. Um, yeah, it's, it's just wrong, but this is the correct one. However, all the hinges make it really confusing to show the transition units we just learned. So I will also have this version of the crease pattern included in the folder where you can find all of them. And um, this one, you can more clearly see these transition units. It also has the teeth, which are pretty simple as well. Um, and if you followed the uh, Origami Sage tutorial that I mentioned, then you know how to do these. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and try this out. Um, I'll also post a photo of the head so you have a little bit of reference for shaping. Um, while it might be a little bit difficult to shape, I say just really go for it, try it out, um, and try to get the best result you can. If you use a six inch Kami like I'm using here, then feel free to use glue just to get everything held together. Um, but yeah, this should be pretty fun and a little challenging. And this is the second exercise um, we're going to do. Now this is the full model of the Scorpion by Ricardo Foshi. And thank you, Ricardo, for giving me permission to use your design for this class. Now, as you can see, I only have the base of the Scorpion folded. And that is because we're going to be using this model for um, the shaping class, which will come out in two classes, I believe. Um, so if you want, feel free, try to fully shape this model. It's pretty, generic on the shaping if you look at the photo, but if not, just this is a refresher of everything we've done and just something fun um, that you can fold that's actually a full model. So feel free to go for that. Um, this is Agua Papel, uh, which is a little bit overkill for this model, but um, anything around 30 centimeters or a little under should work perfectly. Um, for this model as it's only a 24 grid. Yeah, go ahead. I think this is a really fun model. There's no pleats, no transitions, but again, just a refresher. Um, and yeah. And kind of to wrap up this video, I'll give you a quick roadmap of some of the upcoming classes. So class four will be our introduction to 22.5 crease patterns. And the model we will be using is the little lizard by Mark Thompson. And thanks Mark for giving me permission to use this model as well, as I think this is a perfect model um, as a beginner 22.5 uh, design crease pattern. And what's also really exciting about this model is we'll also be using it for the shaping class. So, the next class, class four and class five, will kind of go intertwine because I won't show how to shape this model in that class. I'll just show how to collapse it. And then in class five, we'll have um, box pleating shaping, 22.5 degree shaping, and then some more advanced box pleating shaping. So I'm excited for those. I hope you guys are. Thank you for watching class three and class four and five should be out shortly. Thanks. All this origami, all this origami, all this origami got me going kamikaze now. I'm